Hi, this is Mark. Today I'll be showing you how to create Tableau polygons for block groups. We'll start by going to the Tiger Line shape files inside of the census.gov website. Under Geography, Maps and Data, you could then select into the shape files, and then you can select block groups. In this case, I've selected Block Group of New York and selected that for download. I'm going to then come back over to the server and show you how I'm going to use that data to run an Ultrix module. Inside of the data that we've uh, brought down, it was actually a zip file. I've unzipped the file, and I wanted to show you that within that, the file that we're going to select inside of Altrix is the .shp file. It's the one of the largest size. There are other .shp files. This will only work when you select the one with the largest size. Under the uh, shared drive, there's a Tableau modules subdirectory, and then within that, I've got another subdirectory for these polygons, and inside of that, there's a uh, generate block group polygons. The module itself is set up to associate the polygons with a data file. The purpose for that is it will limit the selection of uh, shapes to those that are actually necessary to support the data. There are literally thousands of block groups in the state, possibly, and you don't necessarily need to give all of that data into Tableau to be able to have it there to not use it. So we're going to economize and join. If you didn't want to join, you can still use this module. There's a detour here. You would unselect the detour, and it will no longer uh, join the data back to the data file that you selected. So in my input data, I've selected that shape file, and I've already run this module, but I'll show you again, just see how quickly it runs. Uh, literally in seconds, you'll have the ability to take a look at a rendered map of the counties and what the shape should look like when you go into uh, Tableau. And you'll be able to see what the data is that's actually going to be connected into Tableau. I'll explain the data here to you briefly. The BG, or block group, uh, is uh, a code that contains a state ID, and the zip code, and then an ID number for the geo uh, ID for the uh, block group itself. There's an order here. The order is kind of a paint by numbers, which will connect all these latitude longitude pairs so that uh, Tableau will be able to construct the visual. So once you've saved that file out, we can go to Tableau and I can connect to data and find that data. It's in a text file and I've called that a simplified block group of New York. I'll go to the worksheet, and I'm going to take all of these measures, the latitude, longitude, block group, and order, and move them up to being dimensions. I'm going to take my longitude and make that my column, my latitude to the row. I'm going to take block group down to detail and then I'm going to change the type to being a polygon. Now I can take my order and put it to this new field path. When I do that the drawing is now complete. Now I can connect to the data. So I'm going to connect to data, and that is also for this case in New York, uh, and it's a text file, and I'm going to go to my worksheet. So I've got this data for Stony Brook, and 
I want to now join these two sets of data together. So I'm going to go and I'm going to see my dimension of block group here. And in Stony Brook, I've got a measure of block group also. And I'm going to bring that up to being a dimension. When I did that, it created an automatic join. It's joining the data together on block group. So now I could go and I could take any of the fields that I wanted to in here and I'll just pick, um, say, um, market population and make that a color. And you'll be able to act on it just like you did any other uh, Tableau worksheet that we've been working on. Inside of the map, I may decide to change the display a little bit and add things into it like uh, because we're looking at one county, maybe selecting county borders isn't appropriate. I might want to put zip code borders on and put zip code labels in. Again, if maybe the county borders made sense, we could select the county borders to put in, and we could put the names inside of that also. We can change the background style to being dark, and then we could change the washout to being a number such as 39%. And that would be able to get you the map that you're looking for and the ability to join it together and be able to work on it as though the uh, block groups were actually part of the geography that you're used to working with. I hope that helps you in your endeavors. Have a good day.